Hello. Welcome back to my channel. Our today's video presentation is about solving for the limit of a function. Before we continue, please visit my channel for more math lessons and tutorials. Thank you. I have here, a suggested flow chart for solving for the limit of a function. When we start answering a limit notation, our first option is to use plug and chug. Plug and chug limit problems are very easy to solve. Just plug the arrow number into the limit function, and if the computation results in a number, that's already the answer. But, if the result is a constant over a zero, or a zero over a zero, we need to take another option to solve for the limit. Our other option is factoring. If the function is factorable, we might be able to cancel out common factors and simplify the function, we might be able to solve the limit using plug and chug after factoring. If the result is not a constant over a zero, or a zero over a zero, that's already the answer. But, if the result is a constant over a zero, or a zero over a zero, we can use DNE or the limit does not exist. Another option is to simplify using the LCD or least common denominator if plug and chug and factoring is not possible. We can simplify and solve the function after we combine the fractions together and cancel out the common factors. We might be able to solve the limit using plug and chug after simplifying. If the result is not a constant over a zero, or a zero over a zero, that's already the answer. But, if the result is a constant over a zero, or a zero over a zero, we need to take another option to solve for the limit. One more option is to expand the parenthesis and simplify. We might be able to solve the limit using plug and chug after simplifying. If the result is not a constant over a zero, or a zero over a zero, that's already the answer. But, if the result is a constant over a zero, or a zero over a zero, we can use DNE or the limit does not exist. Let me show you how to use this flow chart using some examples. To solve for the limit of the function, we will try plug and chug first. We will substitute the 5 into the function and simplify. This will give us 7 over 9, and since this is not a zero over zero, this is already the answer. Let's try another example. To solve for the limit of the function, we will try plug and chug first. We will substitute the 4 into the function and simplify. The result is 0 over 0. Now, if we will factor the numerator and denominator, we will be able to cancel out the common factors. And then, if we do plug and chug again, we will get 3 over 4, this is already the answer. Let's try another example. To solve for the limit of the function, we will try plug and chug first. We will substitute the 1 into the function and simplify. The result is negative 6 over 0. Now, if we will factor the numerator and denominator, we will be able to cancel out the common factors. And then, if we do plug and chug again, we will get negative 2 over 0, we can use DNE or the limit does not exist. Okay, for our next example, we can check that plug and chug and factoring will not work. We will try another option which is combining fractions, using LCD, or the least common denominator. And then, we will try plug and chug after we simplify the function. This will give us, negative 1 over 9, and this is already the answer. Now, for our next example, we can check that plug and chug, factoring, and LCD will not work. We will try another option which is expanding parenthesis, then simplifying the function. And then, we will try plug and chug after we simplify the function. This will give us, negative 2, and this is already the answer. There are more options for solving for the limit of a function, and we will have that in our next video. Thanks for watching this video. 
don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Also, click the bell icon to get notified when I upload my next videos. Please share this video with your friends. Have a nice day.